does not be at all. Right, y'all, I'm at Kamarom channel. Okay, so you can already tell the background looks very different. Um, and that's because, yeah, I've I've moved. So we are in an apartment now. We're still here in Washington, but um, yeah, we kind of knew moving into the house that the homeowners were eventually going to move back in at some point. So that's kind of where, where we're at here. So yeah, we're in an apartment still in Washington, um, probably for at least another year or so. It's not ideal because when you move, generally the military will like pay you or kind of like cover all that stuff for you. However, when you move, when you're still at the same duty station, um, they won't pay. It wasn't really that bad. Like it didn't really cost a whole lot to move. But um, yeah, as you can understand, I had to take everything down and then set it back up and kind of just take a bunch of trips back and forth. Yeah. Um, and you can kind of tell I was on leave doing that. And that's why I have this facial hair going on. So um, yeah, this is, you know, kind of shift the focus. Yeah, this is a new background. So I mean, it's it's nice, pretty big space. You can kind of see there. Everything in the background is still pretty much the same. I just moved some stuff just so it wasn't as cluttered. I felt like the last background was a little bit too cluttered. Um, but now there's, yeah, hopefully the acoustics are okay. I think they're still pretty good. But yeah, it just looks a lot um, better, a lot less crowded with just too much stuff going on. So that's the nice thing about moving is you get to declutter a bit. But today we are checking out a video that was recommended to me a lot when I was um, doing all of this and it's something that I've been wanting to check out. So this is from the Swedish army. And this is about, I guess one of their, I don't maybe it's North Brigade. Maybe that's what it's translated to. Um, but yeah, this is like high Sweden. So I guess they established a unit there. I'm not sure how old the unit actually is, but it looks like they've been kind of building it um, and it's been growing pretty substantially. I guess they're trying to beef it up. But yeah, very strategic sort of assets when you're talking about Northern Sweden. So yeah, they're trying to strengthen the army up there. And this is what this video is covering. It's about nine and a half minutes, but I gotta say just the scenery and everything looks pretty cool. Cause again, Northern Sweden, very cold, I would imagine pretty much year round. Um, but it looks, it looks awesome. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's like straight out of Game of Thrones. Just expect to see like a giant ice wall and stuff. Ett you know, white med miles vida barskogar. Vidsträckta och förädiska myrmarker. Oh, dang. Breda och djupa älvar som skär. I forget there's so many like marshlands in like Sweden and Finland and stuff. You guys are telling me about that, but I haven't really seen it so much in the videos. That's pretty wild. Breda och djupa älvar som skär genom dalgångarna. That looks Ett so dope. Ett grest befolkat område. Med begränsad infrastruktur och till stora delar ett väglöst land. Damn. En kall och ofta ogästvänlig plats där geografin och klimatet dikterar villkoren. Mm. Yeah, well said. Här finns efterfrågade naturtillgångar och andra stora strategiska värden som är av betydelse för Sverige, Europa och delar av världen. Oh, dude, det är nice här the brigaden försvarar Sverige. Och det är här i det Dude, the snow camo that is so cool. That's like a thumbnail right there. I mean, this whole video is just like perfect thumbnail material. But holy cow, the snow camo with like the snow on the rifles and they got this Do they have full skis or snowshoes? I det subarktiska skogsbältet som vi är som allra mest. <laughs> Damn, the Viking is tearing through that thing. That is a Viking, right? It's it looks so cold. What is that mask? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, that, I'm not trying to pause it too much, but that's like the best, like, it's not even like sleep. It's just like the best, like, relaxing you can get. It's when, like, you're moving out somewhere. <laughs> what rifle is that? Säkerhetsläget har kraftigt försämrats i vårt närområde. Försvarsmakten har av Sveriges regering fått i uppgift att stärka försvaret i norra Sverige. Försvarsmakten är därför under tillväxt. Armen ska växa mer än övriga försvarsgrenar. Och i armen ska ett regiment växa mer än övriga förband. Norrbottens regiment är I-19 med Norrbottens brigaden. Oh, I'm just thinking about all the poor privates that have to like do all the maintenance with all the snow, like shoveling it or... Whatever, using a snowblower. 
Nordkalotten försvaras av NATO. Det svensk-finska försvarssamarbetet bygger vi ett operativt djup i norr. It's beautiful man, jeez. I need to check out like northern för att kunna verka Scandinavia, måste man också här. Det är därför Norrbottens brigaden ska utbildas på plats i Boden. Dude. These vehicles are doing really well. Kraftsamlingen i norr innebär att produktionen av flera krigsförband flyttas från oh, södra dude, till norra sick. Such a cool system. I 19 ska utbilda, mobilisera och förrådställa hela brigaden i norr. Oh, the wind stock and the freaking... Där vi försvarar ska vi också finnas 24 timmar om dygnet, 365 dagar om året. Damn, that must be such a vibe. I Dude, får därmed... I just want to give one of these guys like a GoPro and just like get some of this training because everything is like so picturesque. Like, geez, this is like straight out of like Modern Warfare 2. En ledande roll i armén <laughs> är uppgiften att utbilda nästan en femtedel av arméns alla krigsförband. What a millennial thing to say. How deep is that snow though? It's like even when they're tearing it up, you can't see the bottom. Chefen med stöd av staben. Brigadchefen har ett antal understödda bataljoner som ska lösa de stridsuppgifter brigaden ställs inför. För att brigadchefen ska kunna leda förfogar brigadstaben över ett sambandskompani och ett ledningskompani. Signal company, yeah. It's always a game changer having some nice Det är de som på signal kort tid skapar ledningsplatser och yttäckande samband över långa och utmanande avstånd. Signalistkåren nice. har djupa rötter i Boden och växer nu snabbt igen. Really, they have historic roots? What kind of chefs ögon mot fienden består av brigadspaningskompaniet. That's so cool, dude. Oh my gosh, yeah, the view must be insane. Wow, man. I wonder how thermals work with the Ett snow if it messes it up. Ett förband som verkar dolt på djupet av fiendens linje. En stor del av brigadens lägesbild bygger på underrättelser inhämtade av brigadspaningsbarn. Oh my gosh. Dude, being reconnaissance element in the snow must be freaking brutal. I mean, I know we've kind of heard about the reconnaissance elements and like the Finnish defense forces and stuff. You know, especially like back in the day in World War II, just kind of getting around on skis, being pretty, pretty mobile, but... Golly, that must be a pain in the butt. I mean, establishing like a hide site and stuff would be pretty, pretty easy, I guess, if you get like thick enough snow or you find like a little outcropping. That'd be so cool, man. I'd love to do that. I'd get destroyed, super tired walking in that snow though. Nice, here we go, okay. Nice, dude, the snow netting? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Underhållsbataljonen är brigadens främsta verktyg för att klara det bakre underhållet. It looks so cold, my gosh. My lips would get so chapped. <laughs> my hands would be like numb constantly. I'm too tropical for that. Ooh, the field support ASMR. Allt från drivmedel och ammunition till förnödenheter når fronten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty nice looking kitchen. Not sure if that was like a field kitchen specifically, but... Arbetstraditionen i Boden går långt tillbaka. Okay, do tell. If you guys know, then let me know what, where this history is. Nu är det en ny tillbaka i brigadens egen region. Fältarbeten och fördröjningsstrid i subarktisk klimat ställer särskilda krav och behöver därför utbildas även oh, yeah, huh. I wonder how that would affect some explosives. I mean, I guess not really too much. What is happening? What is going on? Oh, they just set up like a massive explosive? Okay, <laughs> that answers that. Golly! What was the intent of that, though? Försvaret av luftrummet från marken utgörs av luftvärnet. Just destroying the road, I guess. Make it inaccessible, but... Även luftvärnsförmågan har gamla anor i norra Sverige. 
och är nu tillbaka i Norrbotten. Nice, dude. That looks like a versatile platform. Operativa like transporter av de mekaniserade förbanden är en förutsättning för att kunna agera snabbt och över stora ytor. För tungtransportkompaniet är varje sekund dyrbar. Nice, dude. Holy cow, that is solid. There you go, hell yeah. That is a nice height sight. I guess like an OP. Oh, hell yeah, dude, the archer. Sick. Dude, I think it's causing some hell in Ukraine right now. Norrbottens brigadens slagkraftigaste manöverförband är de två pansarbataljonerna och den mekaniserade bataljonen. My gosh, that looks exhausting. <laughs> they did a good job of camouflaging, I will say that. Victor Johan. Ta Gustav Adam 13, slut, kom. All the facial hair, man, I'm jelly. Tempo, tryck, hårdhet. It's gonna go pressure and hard. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. You can't not feel badass doing an assault like that. Or dismounting into the freaking snow like this. Seen some shit. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> right, here we got a little grand finale here. Oh man. So well edited, man. These shots are freaking badass. Looks so cool. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was sick. Damn, that's showing like everything though. For nine and a half minute video, this felt like a lot longer. Again, just like super cinematic. Vi vintersoldater av värnpliktiga från hela Sverige. Oh man. That's so sick. Vi är bäst på strid i subarktisk miljö. Vi är låset i Norrbotten. Det är vi som är Norrbottens brigaden. Yo, that was a really impressive video. I don't know who like edited or directed or what. But like everything was working for this video. I gotta say, very, very solid recommendation. Like, I wish we could get a video like this for like all of the major brigades in Sweden and all the other kind of countries that we, we check out. Like, this is like the perfect kind of video to get like a good understanding of what the unit's mission is, how it actually operates. Again, it kind of showed us all the support elements, which are super important, especially when you're talking about such a snowy, crappy terrain and environment like that, where everything's just, you know, kind of against you. It is going to rely very, very heavily on your support elements. And of course, in your ability to deploy effective combat power, you know, when it comes to the tanks, when it comes to the infantry fighting vehicles, the kind of support vehicles for that, to be able to actually dismount those guys and actually get them to, you know, the actual area, the, op the objective. It takes a lot of support, it takes a lot of maintenance, it takes a lot to kind of be successful in this kind of environment. I mean, when you kind of think of, for me, uh, and it's not like the best kind of translation by any means, but when you're talking about like subterranean combat, it's a very different beast when it comes to, you know, more conventional terrain and, and kind of war fighting. When you have like open fields or forests, you can kind of maneuver through. Subterranean combat really changes it dramatically as far as how you support it. Other things you need to consider when it comes to, you know, like air quality and stuff. This has a lot of other factors that you need to consider that you need to actually operate in that environment to really kind of understand what you what you need. And the fact that they're kind of beefing it up shows that they're really kind of supporting it and they're getting a good hang of, you know, what actually they need to be successful in that area. So 
very very cool recommendation again if we can get like a video like this for all the units we check out that'd be dope because it was just shot very well everything looks cool when like everything's kind of covered in snow everything is so much easier to appreciate when it's like well shot and well edited um, at least i can say that from like a reaction standpoint but let me know what you guys think of course if you guys serve in this unit or have served in this unit let me know how it was because it looks like a it looks like a beast for sure again i haven't done a whole lot of like winter arctic training uh, but this, yeah, it's on a whole nother level. <laughs> I don't know like how warm it actually gets, you know, that that high up north when you're talking about like the, the summertime and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'd imagine it probably still doesn't get that hot. But yeah, that looked um, that looked pretty brutal. So if you guys did serve or if you guys have kind of served in a similar, similar capacity, let me know how it was as far as things you didn't consider you needed to pay certain attention to. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the um, new setup. Again, I think it's a little bit easier on the eyes, a little bit less stuff going on, I guess. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.